They call Ozio by the Ozi, I should say, the look, by the way, for some strange reason. Here we go then. First round, and uh, he also was voted the best foreign fighter licensed in Spain, although he's now a naturalised Spaniard. Member, of course, of the MGC camp. And I suppose the, uh, the question you've got to ask here is, can Thomas stay out of the way long enough? It's eight threes, it's a long way to go. Um, I, beyond believe it or not, don't believe he can. And I suppose it lasts as long as Ozzy wants it to. A very solid man, isn't he? 30 years of age now. So he needs to make a move pretty soon. Tomar is 24, but already had a pretty extensive career. 28 uh, fights under his belt. Takes a right then from Ozzy. That one just missing the target and slapping on the shoulder. Well, looks like Ozzy's looking for an early win here. Of course, that nine-round win over Marcus Bott will be the highlight of his career. Bott really came into this ring full of confidence, not imagining he'd lose for a second, but uh, Ozzy was just too strong for him, too determined. Oh, take that right over the top, and he's hurt. He's in trouble. So, Valerie Thomas then in big trouble there from the right. He almost went over, but my goodness me, didn't he recover well? Well, so the mandatory eight count then against Thomas. Not much left in the opener. And I think that right hand caught him just about the eye area, the left eye. And it's got a slight swelling coming up. So 10-8 round then already for this Spaniard. So at the end of a good round then for Lee Manuel. And definitely know it. So 10-8 then. So Paco then, the trainer there, just trying to, uh, well, trying to do nothing really, just what can you say about this man? He, you know, powers of recovery, I suppose, took an almighty right, and there, that's the shot, in fact. Took an almighty punch, didn't go over, but you could have forgiven him if he had have done. Looks a bit facial like Sven Ocker, doesn't he? The uh, reigning IBF super middleweight champion. And there you are again, he was headed downwards, wasn't he? And suddenly recovered. So here we go then for the second of this scheduled eight round uh, chief supporting contest. Just saw a bit of controversy of course in the main event with Alexander Yakov getting beaten by an eight fight novice. Of course I make that a nine fight novice. But a strong one. Only two knockout wins by the way to the credit of Tomas. So uh, the chances of, of him hurting OC looked pretty slim. Nice uppercut. Oh, 
again the right then for Mosey. This one, by the way, the uh, the mute Jean-Louis Leglong. Didn't say anything at all, if you remember. Right. Oh, he's got him now with the right. Well, he might just be saying that's enough, son, in a minute. Valerie Tomer hits the deck again from the right and once again shows tremendous powers of recovery. How on earth has he done this? If he goes over again, I think he might just stay there. Or at least the referee will have every right to pull him out. Don't want to see this guy get hurt, do we? I don't think has taken a decent shot yet. <laughs> and I expect that Ozzy's wondering what on earth is keeping. Toma on his feet. Oh, take that. Lovely right uppercut. And again, well, good shots there again from Ozzy. Once again, a 10 8 angle. So, round three then. And let's just see if Ozzy can land the telling punches this time and make this man stay down. The kind of guy, though, who doesn't whack, but has got a good chin, and you'll have to nail him to the floor to keep him there. Got a feeling, though, if he does hit the floor once more, this one could all be over. Oh, good right, then. Goodness, well, Valerie Tomar, then, getting a bit of payback. Well, giving a bit of payback. Lands a right. Ozzy, I think, was as shocked as the rest of us. Let's, forget, let's not forget that uh, Toma has actually won ten fights. Oh, and again. Oh, he's got him. He's got his feet. He's got him. I can't believe it. Ozzy has been whacked from a right there, and he's in major trouble. He's up above, he's above me here, and he's swaying. Lee Manuel Ozzy is in big trouble. He's almost nailed to the canvas there. Goodness me, what on earth is going on? He just had an upset in the main event, and Ozzy takes another shot. And again. Well, can he find a clean one, this man, this French fella? And Valerie Thomas is uh, trying to bash Ozzy around this ring now, and he, I'll tell you something, he could have him here. He could have him here. Only scored two knockout wins, remember? And Ozzy's in big trouble. I can't believe this. The crowd are really getting behind Tom. And once again, Ozzy takes a shot. Goodness me, what is going on here? This is absolutely mental, this boxing game. Sometimes it's the craziest sport there is. And as we're seeing tonight, it doesn't often happen, you know. Well, looks like Ozzy's over that. I think he's been knocked out of his stupor. Still not absolutely right. The feet are not doing as they should. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, this could end up a 10 8 round now for Tomar. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, I tell you what, is, is Ozzy going to get through it? That's the question to ask now. And does Tom realize that he's on the verge of a major upset here? But give the laugh in my voice. It's just, you know, I just can't believe it. 
I suppose things were going so well for Ozzy. The last thing he expected was to be nailed with the right hand and almost chin. Unbelievable. He's still not right, though. Well, he's got through the round, but he's lost it. And he's